sets the uh, tone of Grand Finals. Fellas, mm -hmm. we're approaching the climax of our evening. This is Grand Finals, the potential finals set, well, it's, depending on the possibility of the reset of uh, the night. And ends up going back to the K rule. Mm -hmm. Legs is love bound in hand, able to convert off of it, trying to do something a little bit stylish, already getting a very cool 54% going. That is not a pleasant sound. You want to ever be healing. He's got a big old crack in his tummy. Ends up yep. got to play it safe. And you know what I really, really like from Stretch? He's taking the crown and he's throwing it off stage. Like, mm -hmm. and, and, and this is this is the first time mm -hmm. Enzo has had his crown back and he immediately died. Yeah, he called out the jump. That's a 30-second stock, 46% taken. Stretch is so much more comfortable with his punish right now. This is a different stretch. This is a powered up stretch. This, this is, is this. Yeah, this this looks like an an unstoppable force. But granted, Enzo was also kind of cold. He hasn't played for like I want to say 40 minutes at this point, mm. unless he was like doing one up elite smash matches and you know <laughs> in any time. But but still, right? Uh, presumably he hasn't played any. Uh, he just needs a little bit to get back into the key to things. And still holding onto that crown. This is, I mean, this is not K Rule's crown anymore. Lucina you owns that. I want Lucina with, with a crown. Lucina with a projectile. Oh my god. That is just terrifying. Yeah. I mean, she she's already royalty or something, right? I don't know. Oh, good tech. Another one. And then a back air. Oh, oh, what? Oh my god. What? what are we commenting? Stretch Lucina has logged on. Stretch Lucina has entered the chat. Wow. Do we see Palu came too? Well, that was, Enzo that had was, tweeted that... playing the goal uh, in his announcement tweet that he's playing on stream. So, you know what? Enzo may or may not be still sticking with that cable, but he's if still, I were yeah. him, I wouldn't. Please. Please. He's still in that ring. Yeah. He has not left to the, uh, the, uh, the, the change character corner. Mm -hmm. So probably discussing stage choices here. And you have to figure, if he's staying, if he's staying K rule, which it's that's a choice he can make. If he's staying K rule, he probably wants big stages, right? Probably. Um, I, didn't his set against Stretch previously? Wasn't he going like all Battlefield? I, I well enough on that. yeah, you know, you might be right. Well, you also have to consider. Um, Enzo has not had to do a stage counter pick yet tonight. This is his first stage counter pick. Mm -hmm. Like, period. So we have we haven't seen what he actually chooses as a stage for K rule. And it is going to be a bit of a wider stage in PS2. And right away, he's using that extra space to uh, really opening open up with some projectiles. Yeah, once again, I think last game he didn't get the chance to control the ground, really set the tone of the match. I think Stretch really took to heart playing this matchup much more aggressively and not letting K Rule set up. Right? Mm. Because normally against a lot of heavyweights, and I guess the first one that comes to mind is Ganon. What the hell did I just see? Yeah. Um, yeah. He didn't drop down so much. That was not a good rep, was it? I think it was. I don't think it was a two frame. Like, Could have been. Look what happens when you let K Rule set up. He has a cannonball active, he has a crown active, he can't touch the ground, then slowly he starts getting closer and closer and closer until he hits you. Right? Yep. Now, look, with, look with, with Stretch. Stretch is forced into an aerial approach, and Enzo mm -hmm. was able to cover it from the So either Stretch has to sit there, plant his feet, and wait for all those projectiles to stop. Uh, projectiling all over the place, <laughs> or, or if he has to get there before it happens. You don't want to let Trap and characters set up the traps. Absolutely. Okay, and now... Oh, great air dodge. 
Uh, that that could have been a really scary situation for Enzo. But he evens it out and he finishes off that stock. Oh, yes. but the super armor from throwing the crown. It doesn't stop. Oh my goodness. Okay, how is Enzo going to be able to land? Because he uses his up hit to stall. That is a fantastic yep. idea. I love it. Um, because, like, honestly, at that point, he didn't want to go into his jump. Unless he was going to jump. Uh, so he just, you know, he used every tool in his in his toolbox. And he was able to get to the ground. Good way. Okay. He swings with a counter, but that's that's the that's something he can afford to do with a stock lead. Mm -hmm. Okay, once that, again, that counter waiting. was so quick. Man, Kaylin's new trailer is so scary. I can't even believe that like, it sucks at tech chases like that at a hundred percent. Yeah. Maybe, like forcing you to tackle or running you jump. That's just nasty. That's vile. Okay, you. Okay, you you went off stage to force the stage tech, but at what cost? You gave up stage control. Wow. Like, Enzo's gonna tech that every day of the century, and then he makes it back to... He probably makes it back to the ledge before you, and then he's on ledge, or he's on stage and you're on ledge. And then you're coming off of ledge against the K-Roll. And all of that because you tried to stage spike someone from Pennsylvania, which doesn't happen. <laughs> it doesn't happen. It just doesn't it, happen, people. You know what? People from Pennsylvania, they're built different. Okay? Yeah. He just built it. So we almost get almost getting started, but stretch. Uh, so and, and that I mean, uh, that was I would not say like a, 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 a like a fully convincing game from Enzo. It was definitely back and forth. Enzo or stretch had a really really strong response after the um, the first KO from Enzo, mm -hmm. but um, it's. Some like, some like maybe questionable matchup decisions. Yeah, for the same. Ba I mean, based on what based on what I've seen. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be uh, opting for a little bit of a smaller stage, a little bit tighter. Uh, definitely agree with that. It just doesn't give Enzo like the space to you know start controlling the ground so aggressively as he does because you know his projectiles cover a hell of a lot more distance than you would ever expect them to. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That, I mean, that cannonball really, really lingers. Mm -hmm. um, but this was the stage where Stretch really took control of his set against Beast, so we'll see if he can find the same kind of mojo here against Enzo. Yeah, that was a beautifully spaced back there. He was able to get a crack in the shield. Oh. Speaking of can a crack punish? in the shield, how He's he got... That okay. was ridiculous. That was absurd. Stretch didn't even charge at F-Smash. He was so confident that that would kill. Um... If it didn't kill, that would have been hard for him completely. Yeah. It was, this it was this close to not killing, right? Like, the trajectory, he wasn't going that fast. His velocity was not max. Yeah. I mean, that's that's probably a, an acceptable trade from both players. But now uh, Enzo's really the one making the most of it. Yep. And he's uh, really going for these uh, two-frame attempts with the down air, which is quicker than... Quicker than it looks like it should be. <laughs> and... Uh, Lucina stays oh, in one place too long, excellent. and then... Yep. That was so good, covering the high recovery with the spit cannonball, and then covering everything else with that that extremely active neutral I mean, what, what could have stretched on? What could he have done? Yeah. Crown I mean, I, th I think the, uh... The lesson here appears to be just, like, st keep stage control as much as you can. The the best the best off stage edge guard stretch has had is when he forces Enzo into a real low that's a regrab. Uh yeah. That's a regrab. That's two games pretty quickly for Enzo. Or that's a game three win pretty quickly for Enzo. And now stretch he's uh, gonna have to stretch this one out if he wants to have a bracket reset. So he started so strong. He, he started really doing, started strong. He's speeding that a little bit. I know he's got some more pep in his step. He's got a little bit more fire. Come on, stretch. I, I wanna. It's not. It's, I'm not cheering on him to win. I want. I want. I want to see enthusiasm. I want to see. I want to see head-to-head -head play. Really, really go at it. You know. You want to see. You want to see ten games. 
I want to see I want to see Game Ten Grand Finals. Actually, yeah. I do love I do love Game Ten Grand Finals. Great Game Tens are so sick. Cause they're so like it's such a journey. It's a journey. It, it feels like it feels like a spiritual adventure. You yeah. Know, like like you're tired, you're worn out. At the end, you're breathless. You know, whatever happens, we just accept it. In fact, so stressful. And like honestly, like knowing that there's knowing that there can be no more games too. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. This is, it. this is this is the end of the road. But this being said, this is this could be Scotch's final game of the evening. Enzo could take it all here, or we could be seeing, you know, however, however many more games. Tries to cover, hide and cover with that back here. Not able to find it though. Setting up a very nice, tasty, delicious juggle. But uh, the nice, aggressive landing from Enzo, understanding that stretch, is not able to get anything after the up tilt up air. Um, you can just land. To, to yep. move, basically. And. I, like, what are we seeing here from Stretch? He's not going off stage. He's maintaining stage control, and he's trying to ledge trap. Mm -hmm. And as a result, he's he's got his percent lead. It's it's not crazy big in this in this wild wild world of uh, ult Smash Ultimate damage percentages, but it's something. And you know, Pennsylvania players are built different. Yep. But you know, at the very least, that's damage. And Stretch was very, very careful to get back to the stage first in both of those interactions. Yeah, neutral out of shield cash from that get up attack. Definitely the first time I've actually seen get up attack from, uh, from Enzo like that. Definitely a little mm. bit interesting as to why uh, he went through it at that moment. But K roll. Yep. I, I don't got nothing else to say there. What did they? K Rule, K Rule, Incineroar, Ridley. Why are they all like that with the down smash? Why? Why did they do that? Um, I don't know. I ask yeah. simple. I think I ask simple questions. I just want to know why they did that. And simple questions have simple answers. I generally don't know. Yeah. It said, "Haha, big heavyweight needs strong down smash that has on." That being said, um. Just look at Stretch unable to engage. Enzo's been controlling the space for so long. Stretch only able to get like a couple of, you know, down tilt here and there. The crown, you know, the cannonball mixing up with his shield and sometimes throwing out a neutral. Good release on the shield. That would have either parried or, you know, the fact that he made a hit. Of course, always going to be better than shield break. Yeah, yeah. And a, a Stretch, for, for, for a Stretch there, um, like unable to engage, but look at the percents. He doesn't have to engage. He's... The, the, another neutral air kill, and this is almost a full two stock lead. Yeah, but this time he's actually had the stock lead since game one. This time, though, yeah. he was ready for that aggressive landing because Enzo has already established after that up tilt up air, he's gonna press nail, he's gonna try to land on, on Stretch's shield, and you know what? Stretch said, It's okay, come on, come here, buddy, and punished him beautifully out of shield for it. Yeah, the, the, um, the, the mix ups really haven't been there when Enzo's approaching Stretch's shield. And K Rule's not really a character that can afford to miss or to, to land a lot of moves on shield either. Especially against a character like Lucina who has back air out of shield, up B out of shield, up smash out of shield. Look at the Sag going from Stretch. Just not letting Enzo breathe whatsoever. Is this gonna be the stop? No, it is not. Just go through the back air. Yeah, I'm surprised the back air didn't kill actually. No. Dolphin Slash is coming. I can feel it in every bone in my body. The up B is coming. Then you can feel it in your bones. What about Stretch's bones? Yeah. And in his head, all you feel is Dolphin Slash. Dolphin Slash. Yeah. Dolphin Slash. You know, ugh. Ugh. Mm. It's frame one and vulnerable. Why did Enzo back off? I don't know. That should be a kill. All right. Okay. Don't get cute, Stretch. Just be practical. Don't get, don't get pretty with it. Oh my goodness. That, that was, the, that was it. That was the upbeat. That's Here it is. Doesn't oh stop. my god. I am so sorry for all of these noises, but I am feeling excruciating pain. Stretch, <laughs> please breathe. Do not choke, my friend. Exactly. Yeah. There it is. Okay. That's gonna be game five, people. Oh my god. I was so terrified. A okay, well, at 200% on his last stock. Were you on your last stock? Yeah. I, I don't want to be there either. Okay. Terrifying. 
But uh, Stretch has done what no one else in this tournament has been able to do. He has taken not one, but two games off of Enzo. And if he gets mm -hmm. one more, we got a bracket reset, people. Oof. Yeah. Like, Stretch, you know what? He, he's not out of the race at all. That game two, that game three, gotta say, pretty gosh yeah. darn depressing. That game four, everything up until last talk, which, you know, you know, he's, he's still got it. He's still got it. Yeah. On top of it. Stretch, you're doing great. He, he's, he's still in this. He still wants to win this. Um, I won't and be surprised the, that... if you see the character switch from Enzo. Maybe he'll still stick with K. Rool through the culture. Who knows? That game four win also, uh, that was like not cheese. That was not stage effects. That was just straight up a shutdown. Yep. Like he did not let Enzo play the game. And I mean, that's like, that's going to have to continue. But then we, we do get to see, uh, we get to see Enzo's second stage counter pick. Mm hmm now his first one was, I want to say PS2. I think it was PS2. Uh, they started off on Battlefield, then they went to PS2, then they went to Smashville. Right. They yeah. On Nova. So they're just, you know, they're going for the whole world tour, a whole world tour here. They're gonna go for every single stage that they can. Can we go five and yeah. five for, for the different stages each game? So with see? with no. With no, uh, what am I trying to say? With no Kalos, who's not in the stage list, um, maybe Enzo wants. I mean, oh, well, I first of all, first stage. of all, do we have a uh, do we have DSR? Because mm, if DSR, if we have DSR, then I think our options are down to FD. Uh, well. We're gonna find out. I don't have to yeah. keep pretending that I. I, I don't no think stage, I, I know rule sets. Listen, listen. I don't think he wants FD, mostly just because what does Kalo yeah. do? He he covers the ground so that he forces people to approach by the platforms. He did exceptionally well in Smashville. Definitely do not disagree with the stage choice. What an opening from Stretch catching that crown ring before it was able to come out. Beautiful play from him. What he got yeah. a little bit more off of it. But it was more of a statement than anything else. Once again, using a slow armor to do it, and that is the optimal counter play for him. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and and Smashville is like truly the. I mean, before before Small Battlefield, this was the octagon. Like, there's nowhere to run here, and you run out of room real fast on this stage, which is probably more of a problem for Enzo than it is for Stretch. Mm -hmm. And you see Stretch really making taking full advantage of that right now. Mm -hmm. uh, just slightly misspacing that back here. You need to really account for some of Enzo's drift. There. Phenomenal DI, being able to live that. That drift was amazing, but that coverage, Enzo. All options covered, and Stretch has all options covered too. That's Mom, the edge guard that he wants to be spot. hitting. All right. Now. Waits out the waits out the neutral B. Waits out the neutral B. Right now. Stretch just keeps jumping in. He needs to be a little bit more careful. Yep. Okay, and his response is to jump in again, but he finds the hit that time. And I've seen a lot of she I've seen a lot of ar belly armor breaks from uh, on for Enzo, but he is still more than content to use that resource. And he's oh still more God. than content to find those two frames. Enzo. He that is, could uh, be the moment good. that puts is, this tournament away. No funny business. He just keeps yep. in this one to win this one. Landing on top of Stretch. Stretch still has not found a way to properly punish um, Enzo jumping in on him like that. Maybe some dash back pivot grab, something along those lines, just so that he wouldn't risk getting the armor through. So risky every single time. I get I get terrified every time Enzo goes for it. Yeah. Okay, uh, counters the aggressive option there. Oh no. Stretch over committing, now he finds himself as the one off stage. Enzo though, switching it up, able to recover to the opposite side and still living exceptional DI. Oh, okay, oh, okay, that could have gotten real scary. But this is still something that is some, this is still a situation that you can't land on that helicopter. 
Yeah, you either have to go down to the good projectile down on it because the hitbox is transcendent, so all projectiles will go through it. Um, that being said, finally the back out of shield now. Scotch is finally back in this. He's within the realm of possibility. Gets yep. thrown off stage. What does he do here? He doesn't okay. want to challenge it. Very, very smart. He just wants to get back onto the stage. That's that's Stage, yeah. play. stage control is super valuable here, and he's making the most of it. Percently gone. Presently completely gone. Oh no. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> That's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Enzo. Uh, <laughs> Illusion Enzo is your champion of fusion.exe, the weekly number 35. Uh, taking it in an uh, inauspicious way over the challenger and stretch. Um, and really surviving, I mean, you know, as, as as crazy as that ending was, and as anticlimactic as that ending was, uh, that could have gotten out of hand for Enzo. That could have gotten out of reach because it's it 